time. I'm going to show you in three minutes my research activity. It may appear a challenge, but you will see that in my work, I'm used to fight against time. <coughs> I'm Francesca Carnesecchi, and my PhD is on particle physics. In particular, it regards a very precise time measure. We are talking about a tenth of billionth of second. But why we need such accuracy in time measure? Suppose you want to measure the time needed by my right hand to reach my left hand. Well, it's more than enough an ordinary clock because we are talking about a tenth of a second. But what if it's not my hand that I have to measure? It neither may be a car, but a particle produced at CERN in Geneva or by supernova with cos cosmic rays. This particle travel at almost the speed of light. So for the same distance, they need something like a billionth of a second. So to measure it, I use other kinds of clock. Using a scintillator coupled to a silicon detector, one and two in the slide, I reach this time accuracy. These technology are the same used in the glow-in-the-dark toys for the scintillator and in the camera of your smartphone to measure the amount of light for the silicon detector. Furthermore, using another kind of clock, free in the slide, a detector made of simple glass shears and fishy line and uh, on a total surface large as a volleyball court, the time accuracy can go to half of tens of billions of second. In my work, I try to optimize these particle detectors, this clock, to reach more and more excellent time resolution. But why it's important a precise measure like this, a time precise measure? Because if I know the path and the velocity of the particle, I can identify if it's a proton or an electron, and so I can study the matter a tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang, when a primitive soup was created, reproducing it through some kind of pressure cooker, the CERN experiment. Thank you.